shouldn't have bought getting out of bed today. Good morning. 22nd of January today. Through the night there it was winds of 90 odd miles an hour. So we've been that was full of net wrap. It's blown everywhere. Net wrap is everywhere now. Need to make sure and get it out from the calves. Mental last night. It's just wild. You can see all the water that's blown down here. I put bales in the doorway there. We've still got roller doors to come, so that will stop. But see how far it's made it. Just with the wind blowing it in. I'll need to shift all this feed because there'll be a layer of wet stuff underneath. The power is out at the farm shop today. Fingers crossed, get sorted by midday or so because we've got a, a funeral this afternoon. Mayhem. Get everything fed here. We'll go and see what the damage has been done along the road. They're pretty much on ad lib. They get about just over 200 kilos a day. There's 24 of them in there with an average of about 350 kilos of weight. So they're on, I think it's 8.25 or 8.75 kilos, which is a five part barley, one part rapeseed meal. Job done, all bedded. Unfortunately, the power outage isn't a huge area. It's actually quite small. Whenever there's a power outage or a water line break, we kind of hope that it's a big area. Bigger area, the more chance of guys getting to it quickly to fix it. Small area, not high priority. So unfortunately, it's a small area. Whether we get power back to it, the shop today, Fingers crossed. So far, no trees down. Oh, there you go. That tree is almost wanting to come down, but it's leaning against some other ones. Need to get that down. That's our farm shop sign. Looking a bit worse for wear. Need to get that sorted. <laughs> we have good news. I don't know if you can hear me, but the power's back on. Happy days. I've just come back to yard one to help my brother who's trying to unblock an auger in the wood chip boiler, which is not playing ball. Every so often a single piece of wood chip jams. I don't know whether the override has been set a lot lower than it used to be, so it could, they used to be able to just screw past a piece of chip and break it up. Could maybe do with changing the override on it. We've managed to get it unchoked now, but it's been a right pain since we had the fire recently. What's the next problem today gonna be? Oh, it's a belter. Shit. Brilliant. I don't think there was too much damage yet this morning, but that's some shambles. And there's heads in there. Gonna fetch the cage on the forklift. Just have a look at the other end as well. Because it looks like it might be torn. Ah, the wind's not really to die down at all today, so flipping sketchy trying to get it. Get at least some of the waterproof cover over. We just we don't need a huge amount of it. The silver lining to how it is ripped is none of the insulation has ripped yet and um, so we need to try and protect that as best we can now so there isn't a big gaping hole at least the insulation is keeping the heat in the hens are all staying warm still and they've still got half of the shed and the scratching area at the moment the way it is the hens are okay it's still very windy just need to make sure that doesn't rip so i'm gonna grab a load of ratchet straps fire them over just until tomorrow the wind's to die down, so first thing tomorrow morning. I try and get some of the waterproofing layer over. We'll never seal it back up again, but it'll make do till we get something ordered. Dad's in Austria, so I need to get him to check his emails for the measurements so we can order a piece like last time. If there was an obvious replacement for these hen sheds, they would be gone by now. 
we come up there, the piece on the left, we're just checking it's all solid. And then the piece on the right, that's the bit we renewed. Hopefully this piece is okay. As you can tell, it's f***ing windy. Anyway, I'm off to the shops to get some straps because all the straps we've got are far too short. Oh, it's horrible! Right, I need seven 12 meter straps. Second pit stop. Three more. That is four so far. I got one at HIS, three here at Hamilton Brothers. And I'm needing three more. So where will I go next? Tool station? Hi there, do you have um, ratchet straps? 12 meter plus. Nah, not long enough. Fine, no problem. Right. No, it's fine, thank you. None long enough here. Next stop, Scott Agri. Nine seven, damn it. Have you got any 12 meter plus ratchet straps? <gasps> Only 10 meter in Scott Agri. God damn it. Next stop, AP bearings, then sellers. Ricky's came through the best so far, they had three. I'm needing seven. Good morning, sellers, how can I help? Hi there, looking for um, parts, please. Hi there, do you have any 12 meter plus ratchet straps in stock? Let me have a look here. I've got 14.7 meters. How many? Four. Perfect, right, I'll be around in two minutes. Come on. Beauty. Ideal, sit and wait for me. Hi there, hi. I ordered a tarpaulin from you guys back in March last year and I'm needing to order very similar to that again. Right, what's the name? Niven. Hi, for a hen house or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, that windy night last night we've just we've, right. we've had another disaster. Exactly the same again, but the 13.5 metre measurement is changing to an 18.15 metre. Aye, right, that's fine. No problem. Grand, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, found the invoice for our tarp we bought last year. Just phoned the guys. They were really good last year, so hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll, they'll turn it around pretty quick for us this year. He's just needing to phone me back because he's, he's going through a computer update so he can't pull up his invoice at his end to get all the details of what we ordered. So it's exactly the same we're needing, just longer. It gets William Milne tarps, Aberdeen somewhere. Just how beautiful life can be. Making progress, just need to quickly nip and open my granny's garage door, I forgot. Because it's so windy, she was wanting the hand open and I forgot because of the hole in the hen shed roof. 30 second drive away, it's fine. Sorry granny. I'm on my way. Tarpon guy just got back to me. Beauty, they're going to have it made hopefully by Wednesday, it's Monday today. William Milne tarpaulins, if you need a fast tarpaulin, there you are guys. He had all the measurements and everything from last year, so perfect. I need my breakfast, half 11, I've not had any flipping breakfast. Broken down boiler, hen shed with a hole in the roof, trees and branches everywhere, almost all under control now. Right, that's things somewhat secure for now. Just sat down to my breakfast, it's about 10 to 12, and our egg van has been crashed, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. So we need to go and recover that. Take another van there to shift eggs over, hopefully there's not too many breakages of eggs as well. Collect the van, get it to the garage. F***ing hell. Shouldn't have bothered getting out of bed today. This day gets worse and worse. Let's go fetch a broken car. We'll get some straps. So just put back in there. Better bring plenty. The van's about 20 minutes away. Right, we're not far away. I think it's turned right and it's just around the corner. We should just be around here. There you go, that's on the right. Oh, God. 
Stan's got all the details of the other driver. Stan was driving down here to turn left, it's a sharp turn. And the guy who hit him was coming from this way. And he hit him on that side of the vehicle. Don't know how that happened. Anyway, we'll swap over the eggs. The van's actually started running now. But we'll swap over the eggs anyway. We'll get that one to the garage. Here's the damage. Right, convoy home, Kev's gonna drive that. I'll trundle away behind Kev, make sure and get this back. It's probably not a garage job anyway, it's more of a bit more serious than that, but I'll swing it into the garage anyway, see what they think. It's only five minutes away from the house. It's not as bad as I thought. The subframe, the sill part looks buckled, and also the A pillar's probably got a bit of a bend to it as well. So. Just quickly whip this trailer off because pretty confident it's not going to be a garage fix this vehicle's booked in for brake pads tomorrow so i need to drop it off anyway so i'll just get a lift back with kev with the van so i don't want the trailer left in there as well it's a lorry of unknowns just arrived don't know what's about to come off this lorry it's oat seed it's five and a half ton of oat seed spring oats so we'll just chuck it in this shed here while i was away some loads of farts arrived NPK and I think this is sulfur nitrogen, is it? Yeah, sulfur nitrogen. We'll get the seed in here as well. You can see how the wind has managed to get under the seams of the sheets. And there's dampness in the roof there on all the seams. That's what 90 mile an hour winds does. Just on that pitch of the shed, this pitch, there's no dampness at all. Nice and wonky loads, but Kev's gonna get that unloaded. My brother's just fixing a leak up here. This feed is still needing minerals mixed through it, so we're just about to go and do that. The first productive job of the day. Right. Minerals are all now mixed. Kev's just gonna load up that trailer. We'll not get that long the road today because it's raining outside, but we'll get one load to yard three and the rest will all go to yard two. This is all for the young stock, the fattening cattle. Trailer full. There's, ah, how long? Four ton, five ton sitting there left. So we'll get most of that along the road to yard two in the next day or two. We'll leave a few on the kilo here for the Highland cows, they get a bucket every morning. Just coming to see how our tulips are, what kind of depths they're at. Just want to keep it up there, you see it? We probably put them in too deep to start with, but they're there, they've not rotted out. Some of them will have them over there, so you see that wet patch. This is last year's bulbs that obviously are just left in the ground. Spot them. There you go, there's one coming through there. I didn't actually want to be seeing it coming through, that's annoying. There's one there, there's quite a few kind of under the stalks. Another one kicking, another one kicking, another one kicking, another one. Would have liked to have spread this off, tidy it up a bit before they were kicking through, but it's too late now. That area, the new area, we might still be able to get on, but not for a while yet, because the ground's soaking, the sprayer would sink. I'll leave it be for now. There's the van, looking absolutely splendid. Class. Garage thinks there'll be a bit of a £4,000 fix. A pillar there is wonky. Subframe, sill, whatever you want to call it down there is also wonky. Obviously it needs a new door. You'll never guess what, while I'm editing this video, three days after this mess, the power in my house has just gone off. This week, this... I give up! Ah! I'm lost on my work. <laughs>